Hey, I'm Jake Massbound from Slope TV here with Jeff Goodman of Fox Sports. We're at Media Day for the Cornell Kentucky matchup. Jeff, Cornell dominant in their first two games in the NCAA tournament. What have you seen from this team so far? Well, obviously, these guys have experience now. I think they go out there knowing they can win. They had two good matchups uh, against Temple and Wisconsin that I think were favorable for them. Uh, this one, I think, going to be a little bit tougher. You know, just with the athleticism, with every, you know, Wisconsin and Temple kind of fit the way they played pretty well. They weren't overwhelmed athletically against either one of those teams. Yeah, absolutely. And you've been covering this Cornell team all year. I saw you in Cambridge for the Cornell-Harvard matchup. Um, what, is there anything different you've been seeing for this team? Because they've been playing some tremendous basketball. Well, I mean, I think from last year when I saw them to this year, it's Lewis Dale. You know, and, and, and again, the experience, everybody's a year older. Jeff Foote's certainly gotten better, but a healthy Lewis Dale makes you know everything to this team right now he's their point guard he's their leader and then you put the shooters around him and Jeff Foote and and they're a dangerous team and and, and they're a fun team I've watched just about every team around the country right now that's in the tournament and, and Cornell might be my favorite team along with St. Mary's to watch this year. Well, that says a lot knowing the feel that we have this year but Cornell's gonna have their hands filled tomorrow night they got the top seeded Wildcats well what do the Big Red need to do to move on to the to the Elite Eight? Uh, pray Pray that they can get back in transition and pray that they make shots so that Kentucky can't go as quickly. I mean, John Wall is going to attack. He's fast. Eric Bledsoe's fast. You know, I, I think obviously Jeff Foote has to stay out of foul trouble. Uh, it's going to be difficult with him because he's going to have DeMarcus Cousins coming after him, Daniel Orton off the bench. There have got to be a lot of things that go perfectly for this Cornell team to end up beating Kentucky. I, I just don't see it, to be honest. That's fair, and but there are some people that, you know, have picked Cornell yep, in this matchup. Yep. Uh, Anything you, can happen. Exactly. Hey, Jake, you know, stranger things have happened. Look, Northern Iowa just beat Kansas. Uh, that's so exactly my point. Maybe an all-mid-major Final Four? Oh, it would be terrific. I mean, <laughs> I think I think a lot of people would love to see that. And, and this, to me, if Cornell beat Kentucky, it would be a whole lot bigger than Northern Iowa beating Kansas. And what? why is that? Well, I just think because of the Ivy League. You know, because people have kind of grabbed onto this matchup and, and embraced it because of, you know, the David and Goliath thing. Northern Iowa, people, the, the buildup wasn't there for that game like it is for this game with Cornell and Kentucky. Well, Jeff, we appreciate the time, your insights on the game. It was great you talking to you. You too.